Do you know about the time England's Queen helped finance an attack on the city of Cartagena in the Spanish colony in South America? An attack which resulted in Sir Francis Drake threatening to destroy a cathedral with cannon fire before being paid a hefty ransom. Of course, the troubles between Spain and England had been brewing for many years, ever since Henry VIII divorced Catherine of Aragon and created the Church of England. When Queen Elizabeth I took the throne, she adopted laws that upheld the Church of England as separate from the Roman Catholic Church. And then, in 1570, she was excommunicated by the Pope, and Catholic Spain and its king, Philip II, viewed Elizabeth and England as the enemy. Meanwhile, the Spanish were busy stripping South America of its wealth and culture. The city of Cartagena on the Caribbean coastline of Colombia was a treasure port. Gold and silver artefacts were being transported across the mainland to Cartagena, where they were placed on ships to be sailed back to Spain. So as you can imagine, attacking Cartagena offered huge financial reward. Francis Drake had returned from circumnavigating the globe in <coughs> and was hailed a hero. He was knighted and he became very, very wealthy. On his third voyage, Sir Francis Drake took 29 ships and 2,400 men. At the time, it was the largest fleet to ever leave England and sail to the Americas. Initially, they sailed to the Cape Verde Islands off Africa, where they burnt several towns to the ground, sending a message of their ruthlessness to the Spanish. Next, the fleet attacked Santo Domingo, the capital of Hispaniola, which nowadays is in the Dominican Republic. The governor there at the time paid quite a handsome fee for Drake and his fleet to leave. Finally, the fleet attacked Cartagena for over a month, and England's infamous privateer eventually settled for a sum of approximately 500,000 pesos and other treasures thrown in. And of course, England's queen got her cup. Fortunately for Drake, a tropical fever hit his crew, killing a hundred of them, and it forced him to leave Cartagena. I say fortunately because a few days later, a large Spanish fleet arrived to trap him in the city. And if it hadn't been for the fever, he'd have been caught. I hope you've enjoyed the video, folks. Don't forget to like and share on Facebook. And if you haven't been to South America, I really recommend you go. Cartagena is an absolutely beautiful city and it's well worth a visit. I'm George, this is The History Project, and we'll see you next time.